Hey, moment of truth. Hiya! <laughs> Right, one stayed. Oh, it didn't fall down. I know. <laughs> what do we, it looks like from the outside, because it was pushed up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Beat it. Beat it like it owes you money. Beat it. This thing owes me money. <laughs> I can't believe they're staying. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. We put enough epoxy and adhesive on it. We've done something right. Yeah, they're up there. Woo! I bet we didn't do it 100% right. But it's good enough. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if we didn't do it right. We probably didn't. I think we did. <laughs> it's right for now. So we got back to the boat and we noticed that there's a lot of water coming from around this crack from where the top part of the boat meets the bottom part of the boat and all the walls are wet inside so we are just putting a fiberglass strip that we've cut all on the side and putting epoxy over it that we've mixed in some thickening agent with. It's really bad right here, you can lift it up and stuff, but of course where the rub reel goes on it'll bolt that together, but we just don't want any more water coming in. So we're gonna do this, and then later on, maybe put a piece of wood trim over the side that just covers the entire thing. We have a little bit of sunlight left, and it's like the warmest day of the week, so we're gonna keep on. We have a skylight. It's just foam, I guess. All right, so the the sugar scoop is collecting water inside. So we're gonna drill a hole in the bottom of it. Hopefully that's not the boat. No water came out. Well. There's a lot of water in there. Do another hole. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, no water dripping out there either. <laughs> oh. No, I think there's a little water dripping out, but it's just barely. <laughs> well, it looks like that's just gonna have water in it forever. Oh. Yeah, and that's coming out. Woo! Oh. <laughs> yeah. We got it. Bye bye, water. Give you a dollar to drink it. You don't have a dollar. I don't. <laughs> don't have a dollar. Give, give this girl a dollar. <laughs> don't give me a dollar. Give me five. You want to drink it? I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> no. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Now we're cooking. For good luck. Oh, brown. Yay! There's a lot of water in there. I could have had to have a glass. We got a Flare. marine signal kit. Flare gun. Show us. Thanks, Gene. 
That's right. cool. I don't know how to work it. It's got directions. We can go test one. And an ice pack. Nope, these are aerial something. Aerial nighttime signals. Cool. Fireworks. Woohoo! Yay! Thanks. <laughs> More fiberglass. So good, I don't even have to look. try to finish up what we can today. It's a big storm coming. I'm gonna start sanding this Bondo on the sugar scoop. It looks better than it did, but it's still not perfect. Um, but perfection is not what we're going for here. We're just trying to stop the leaks. Good morning. <laughs> we are not on the catamaran right now. Jess, Jess, where are we? On the boat. Whose boat? Gene's mm, boat. We met up with Gene, who owns Salt Ponds Marina in Hampton, which is really close by. And he came by and had a look at our boat. And he was like, hey, while you're working on the interior of your boat, I have a boat at my marina that you can stay on. And I didn't think it was going to, I don't know, I didn't think it was going to have like a living room and two bedrooms and two bathrooms, but this thing is awesome. <sighs> yeah. Jess loves it. There's a whole cake size bed. <laughs> <sighs> Full kitchen. And a top deck area. I don't know, it's probably not called that. And then another bedroom. And another bathroom and a shower. How incredible is this? We're gonna get some food and go back to work on the boat. Wow. Staying on this boat instead of ours helps so much. We don't have to pack up everything and then put out the tent. And also it smells like Bondo in there really bad. Do you like it here? Yeah. We're gonna miss breakfast. Let's not. Wow, they even have a swimming pool. It's winter time, so it's closed down, but that's gonna be nice in the summer. There's a little bit of a gap around the skeg, so Jess has taken some uh, Bondo fiberglass stuff to it, and then we'll sand it down, make it look nice. We've used probably 10, 10 of these cans of fiberglass. We've bought all that Ace Hardware has and Walmart and Home Depot. So we don't know where we're gonna get it next. Maybe AutoZone or uh, an auto parts store. We'll check there. But I've been sanding the sides where we did the stuff here. Um, it's coming out all right. Well, we're probably gonna put a piece of wood trim over it anyhow, but it's gonna be nice to have it somewhat flush. This is loose too, so we'll have to take this off and uh, put butyl tape around it and some new screws, get it back in there. We'll grab a screwdriver and I'll bondo it. <laughs> nope, we need butyl tape. No, you bondo it. Well, look at where I find myself again, West Marine. I need some hole paint and I need it today. So what do you what do you do? You go to West Marine, get it right now.
We should probably upgrade our navigation lights and anchor lights soon. Fuel tape. All right, we finished bondoing the sugar scoops and smoothing and sanding it out. So it looks all right. We have no choice but to get some bottom paint on this because there are two more days of warm weather. We need to hurry up and get it painted and get it in the water next week. Right now we're just using a damp cloth to get all the dust off the bottom paint and get ready to put the new stuff on. Yeah, one of our subscribers just stopped by. What'd you think of that, Jess? That's awesome. I'm a green hour dove, I'm a green hour dove, I'm blue, double D, double dove, I'm a green hour dove, I'm a green hour dove. Blue fish house with a blue little window and a blue Corvette, and everything is blue. I just don't want to get covered in blue. In the blue for you. Yeah, it's really thick at the bottom. Oh wow. It smells awful. Woo. We're gonna paint the bottom of this boat and it's gotta look better, right? And I'm pouring the blue. That should be good. All right. Awesome. It's really tough to work on the boat and film it at the same time, so I try to get what I can. But now, painting this hole, I feel like it's a great attempt to get a time lapse and show the transformation. We're really excited to get this thing back in the water and head down to Florida. We're not going the open ocean, we're gonna take the ICW. That still is pretty tough we hear and it's gonna take a long time. So we're getting ready and we're very excited. There are no more through holes, everything's solid fiberglass under the water line. We don't have the money to get a new motor and steering wheel, so we're gonna have to tiller motor on the same short shaft motor all the way down to Florida. I'd like to go ahead and thank our patrons in alphabetical order. Austin, Ben, Bill, Darren, Ron, Rich, Robert, Scott, and Steven. Thank you guys very much. Today we were gonna do a second bottom coat, but it's been raining all day. The storm came out of nowhere, so. Looks like we're gonna have to leave the boat for now, but man, is it looking good. From right here, it almost looks like a new boat. Unfortunately, the best looking part of the boat is gonna be underwater. Hello, welcome back. Hi, welcome back. This is what we've been up to lately. So we're gonna head home for Thanksgiving and now we've done some Bondo, which still needs to be sanded, but it was really messed up and now it's not that bad. We've gone and fiberglass on all of the sides. We started on this side, and that's why this side isn't as best, as, or as good as the rest of them. And so we've done the fiberglass, we just need to sand a little bit of this, and then we've painted this side, just missed the top piece, and then we've done our bottom paint. And it looks so good, but it's we have to put it in the water. The best thing that we have, we gotta put it in the water. But we've done that and it looks really good. We've gotta do one more coat, which shouldn't be too hard. This coat took about 45 minutes once we had everything taped up and ready to go. We still have a few patches up top that we need to fix for our hatches. We gotta patch our hatches, patch patching. Some more fiberglass here. And then same thing, we painted this side. 
and done the bottom paint all around it looks so beautiful I can't get over how great it looks <laughs> to fiberglass so this side is much better ish ish yeah still not the best but it's pretty good it stops most of the water from coming in yep so here in a few days after thanksgiving we're going to come back and sand this and then hopefully paint it we've got to do one more coat of paint here and then we'll finish sanding the sugar scoops and they should be ready to go Happy Thanksgiving!